All right, so official day two in Taiwan, and I think I fucked up. And uh, so yesterday we ate breakfast at a place, and I was telling my uncle and my aunt and my cousin where I ate at, and they're like, ooh, I don't know about that place. So I was like, oh shit, all right, maybe I should use Yelp. So I did a little bit of research and I found a new breakfast joint. I'm like, cool, this place has a decent amount of reviews. Let's go check it out. But look at this. There's a straight line. There's people behind us. There's people waiting in line, going all the way in to the inside of the store. And it is freaking hot. So, and it's early, it's like 7 a.m. So this place is popping. But what's cool about Taiwan is there's so much competition that there's another breakfast place literally right next door, right there. And that line looks shorter. You wanna eat there, mama? Up to you. Really, I'll take a look. Gio might be right. I think this place only got pastries, a shit ton of different pastries. That fried donut, and they got steamed bows over there. Um, but what I'm looking for is something more similar to yesterday, where it's like you get the egg pancake, you get a whole assortment of things. So. Fuck it, I guess I'll stand in line here. Let's see what they got. Oh yeah, I already see egg pancakes piled up on that grill right here. I already see a bunch of eggs. Ooh, hell yeah. Oh, what in the world? Damn, that looks bomb. All right, they know what they're doing. So at least I'm in the shade now, which is awesome. And I just realized, oh God damn, that looks good. Look at those motherfucking egg pancakes, dude. Those look delicious. Ooh. But I just found out what those things are, and those are Shaolong Bao steamers. So there's a ton of them right there. It's steaming. Looks so good. Oh. Success. But what's crazy is now it just started raining out of nowhere. And I was looking for a place to eat, and we found this little <laughs> dining table set up. And, uh, but the store's not even open, so we'll just take advantage of this. Meanwhile, this little dude's knocked the F out. But I did get a bunch of, um, egg pancakes. Got one right there. And I also got another one right here. And, uh, what Mom Bear's taking a picture of is their most flagship dish. It's called Sao Bing Yo Tiao with egg. And look what I got, Mama. Baby Fan Tuan. Oh, hell yeah. And we got ice milk. Ice, uh, milk tea. Got some gyoza, and then I got some soy sauce with onions. That looks bomb. But check this out. This is what they're really known for. It's like a flaky pastry with an egg and a fried donut in the middle. Time to eat this. Let's see. So I grew up on stuff like this. Hopefully, Mama likes it too. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Thank you and crispy. Mm. Oh, damn, it's sweating like crazy. Leave it to fucking Asian people to glorify labor by having a museum of labor. We have museum of art, not museum of hard work, so that parents can take the kids and be like, look at how fucking lazy you are. This person worked 95 hours in a day, and here you are, not doing shit. But look at this construction worker. They're showing you if you do construction and work hard, you can get a six pack. Looks like that. They don't work hard enough, I think that's what they're trying to say. You gotta work even harder. Fine. Yeah, look at that. Look how hard they're working. They got a whole family on there. Look at this. This is the imagery we see. Wow, work so hard, wow. Maybe that's the, Taika, you see that? You gotta work harder. That's what Asians always do. They see something that's hard working, they always tell the kid, hey, you see that? Uh -huh. Betty got an A, what about you, dumbass? Yep. All the time, what about you, dumbass? He's smart, but he still wants to hold his blanket. I know, he's nuts. Right now, we are crossing what is known as Love River. Isn't that beautiful? See all those skyscrapers back there in the river? 
my mom probably is giving me the eye like she's falling in love with me all over again shut the hell up it's fucking hot why are we walking still it is so hot you guys my fucking clothes are stuck to me look at how fucked up Tyka's hair is he did not just take a shower he's been sleeping this whole time sweating his little nuts off and this fucking fool is talking about love look at your shirt ah! I'm fucking drenched it's it feels like a hundred degrees but it's only 85 it's the humidity that's insane look at my skin it's just glistening it's just sweating we picked the worst time to come to taiwan but since we're on this side yeah, of the your world stupid ass wants to walk everywhere. well nothing's open yet it's 9 oh, a.m huh what's a dragon seven story dragon oh there's a seven story dragon right there and then there's supposed to be a tiger right next to it and you should be able to walk next to it yeah she just ditched me what the hell Hey babe, I can see your butt cheeks eating your pants. Your little sweaty butt cheeks. Yeah, but we're on this side of the road anyways and my uncle loves Taika. So I was like, oh, I might as well stop by. But note to self, never, ever, never, ever, never, ever, 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 never, ever come back to Taiwan during the summer times. Always come during the winter. Because even the winter is still kind of hot. I hate you. Shut up. <laughs> No, I really do hate you though. I know you do. I can feel it. You fucking I'm hate just my kidding. guts. It's really fucking hot. You really fucking hate me. me and you're hurting my feelings. You yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You don't know, eat. No, you've been yelling at me the whole time on or off camera. You keep asking a bunch of dumbass questions. Like what? Can like, you believe we're three miles away? I'm like, what does that mean? It's hot. <laughs> it's not that. It's fine. Isn't it fucking hot? I'm not a little Shut bitch, up. so I don't complain about shit like that. Oh, I'm a big little bitch. I know you are, you fucking I'm little like the bitch. Biggest... The biggest fucking bitch, straight bitch. You complain yeah. ass motherfucking bitch. Is it okay? Nah. I don't like calling my queen a bitch, you fucking oh. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it sounds like it, uh, you enjoy it a little too much. Fine. Mmm, I love this place. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shit. So we're at the, whatever this is, a harbor? It's a uh, oh, bay. No. Yeah. It got, as soon as I got out of the car, yeah, just all fogged up. We got a we got a cat a taxi cab. Ben, at least what's good is that we're by the beach, so hopefully we can get some ocean breeze up in here. No, it doesn't feel like it at all. It feels so stale here. Sorry, I'm really trying oh, there to we help. Go. I felt I the breeze. Oh, there you go. The breeze came. Haha. <laughs> Come here, monkey. Come here, monkey. I know. We'll get you some food too. This is how green the Taiwanese mountainside is. It's pretty nuts. And uh, for those of you guys who don't know about Taiwan's history, so I think I read this somewhere a while ago, which means my facts are probably all skewed, but it's probably at least 70% correct. Um, but I believe every single Polynesian came from Taiwan. So whether you're Maori, Tongan, Samoan, Guam, whatever, the ancestors all came from Taiwan. So the indigenous people of Taiwan are Polynesian and hence the extreme tropical weather here and this is little Taika playing around oh yeah and the Chinese people didn't come until like way later until like the 1400s I think I'm talking about early early on uh, it was all Polynesian do you like the ocean mister you get in the way of people pictures he plays like it's not even hot huh Little monkey. I got you some food. I got you a fruit smoothie and some spaghetti. Want some? Come here, little dude. Taika. Taika. Taika, Ben. Taika. Taika, come here. Taika. Come here. Come here, Taika. Come here, Taika. Look at the ocean. Ooh. Awa. So we're meeting my uncle and his family for lunch and this place that he took us to is fucking sick. So we got here early, he's not even here yet, but all the decor is like old Taiwan. So think like if you've watched It Man, like that old Shanghainese, like old school China where like there's just that Western influence came in, check it out. There's like these uh, fake storefronts that sell different things. Like that's his noodle house up there. And over here you have like an old Taiwanese grocery store. 
old Taiwanese cuisine. It's like really, really dope typography. It's so cool. Even like just the stuff that are in the shelves in there. It's really cool. Once water. This is so crazy. This guy's just riding with parrots on his shoulders. <laughs> aren't, the, aren't the parrots gonna fly off? Oh no, they're connected by chains. <laughs> There's gotta be connected by a chain, huh? Yeah, like, we've got more on. Uh, yeah, they're they're all on chains. Oh, they're all on chains. <laughs> yeah. That's nuts. I gotta see this guy take off. I'm just gonna keep pointing this camera at him. Hopefully, it's tinted. <laughs> See. Isn't this full scared that the birds are gonna shit on his shoulders? They, there's a bunch. Oh, there's a bunch of shit on his back? Oh, what a tease. You can be out, but you can't. He has, he has a twig on his handlebars. Yay! Yay! Let me see this. Oh, he's taking off. Hell yeah. Oh, man, those birds are trained. It's crazy. What up y'all? It's that time. Yup, the time to get what Taiwan is known for. Stinky tofu, and not just at any place, but the king of stinky tofu. And today, I'm actually really excited to bring my little Taika Malaika there, because I want to see if he's gonna like it, and he's gonna be eating it for the first time. So either he's gonna eat it and he's gonna like it, or he's gonna smell it and go, Oh, what's this piece of shit? This is nasty. So, we'll see. Alright, so I just got my plate of stinky tofu and this looks so good. And the way they serve it is they pop holes in it, they put onions and soy sauce in it, and then they have like a Taiwanese style kimchi. And in Taiwan, it's super crispy. You can see how crispy it is already. I'm so excited. They just don't make it that stinky in the States. Mmm, how goofy it feels. Okay. I missed it a lot. My girl has milk right now, so I have to wait until after. I have to wait until after his milk to feed him. But this is so good. Want some milk? Hell no. I've had it already, not a fan. Oh, and uh, by the way, this plum juice, I found out is um, you, know, you drink this so that your breath doesn't smell later. Like so you have to make that. Oh my like, god. So like shit. Okay. Ugh, thank you. Alright, so he just finished his milk. I have a small window of opportunity to give him some stinky tofuness. Let's see if he likes it. Good luck. Here. Yeah. Like a look. <laughs> you don't even know what it is. Yeah. Mmm. Get me. Mmm. I don't want to get your blankets to eat. Go, go, go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Close He doesn't want it. Oh, he keeps shoving it in his mouth. Fine. Look at this. It's a fail. It's really good. Alright, it's been too hot, so we just grabbed some dinner to go. 
This is called a bian dang, which I believe in Japanese is the same thing, which is bento boxes, which is bian dang. And it's just a little to-go food action. And this is one of my favorite things from Taiwan. It's actually very like street foody, very like fast foody, but it's good. Pop it open, mama. So you get a big old pork chop. Does it smell good? Yeah, very good. Let me get Caesar. Slices. Hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. And uh, this guy right here is only two bucks. Can you believe it? You get rice, you get a big old protein, and then you get three sides, which we got mapo tea. Damn, it's so hard to use chops with the left hand. Mapo tofu. Ooh, yes. And veggies, and then two veggies. And mom is doing the responsible mama thing, which is always cutting up bite-sized pieces for that little freaking rascal over there. But this is one of my favorite things of uh, Thai Wizzle My Nizzle. And this thing is only two bucks. Can you believe that? Two dollars a person. It's ridiculous. Tiger could believe it. But thank you guys for following us throughout our whole time in Taiwan. Tomorrow we're going back in the States. And I finally get to go home to wrapping up the process for our new house oh i, am... I thought you were going to talk about game of thrones that's when you get caught we're up on game of thrones episodes behind i know when you get caught up on game of thrones but i'm really excited about our house and i'm excited to go back home to some peace and quiet traveling is fun japan has been awesome taiwan's been awesome and taika is a freaking balancing act master <laughs> that guy was just you were crazy and for the record i know i was complaining a lot in the heat and I'm not going to take that back. <laughs> okay. Because I stick to my complaining, and I'm going to stay true to it. Yeah. But you guys, you guys have to come to Taiwan when it's hot as fuck. Thank you. <laughs> Shit. Um, he's like, shut up. Uh, come to Taiwan so that you can feel my suffering. That's all. Thank you so much for watching. Come on. Come on. Mm. <laughs> Come on. What the fuck? Did you get it? Me? No. I will end this vlog with the Taika. Taika, give it to Bye. me. Taika, give it to me. Bye -bye. God damn. Be goddamn.